Pavilions, Swastika Mukherjee is here at uh, the annual Bengali Film Festival here in Hyderabad. This is one event where you have all the bongs in Hyderabad, perhaps in other parts of Telangana also coming here, catching a glimpse of their favourite stars. So Swastika, I have been watching you, in fact, uh, having or rather being hooded by a lot of fans here in Hyderabad, uh, clicking selfies with you. So firstly, how is Hyderabad treating you? Hyderabad has always been amazing. I have been coming to Hyderabad since early 2000. I have shot a lot of films in the Ramoji Film City and it's uh, you know one of my favorite places to stay. <laughs> I, I love, I love uh, being in uh, Ramoji Film City. I have also shot in other parts of Hyderabad and um, I've been to Charminar and Golconda Fort and uh, the other you know Nawab forts around in the old city and it's a great place for shopping also I think for women um, all my entire collection of glass bangles are from Hyderabad my sister's uh, wedding sari is from here uh, my first visit to Nalli was here, <laughs> yeah. So then also Karachi Bakery was in Banja, Banjara Hills. It's all yeah. Over yeah, now, yeah, yeah. It's all over now, but back then in you know early 2000, uh, Hyderabad was a place uh, for biryani and for food and yeah. So I, I love coming back to this city. So we'll come to the biryani aspect. <laughs> I have a question for you there. But talking about films, you know, uh, you are somebody who has had all genres try it out yeah. okay and now you're even a big star in Bollywood and it's such a I mean from the Tollywood industry perspective you have sort of opened those doors uh, but I want to ask you first what's on your 2024 wish list uh, I really wanted to you know explore other languages mm -hmm. and I'm quite lucky because this year I'll be coming back to Hyderabad in April and May I'm shooting for a Telugu web series yeah, so it's going to be uh, my first time, uh, first work in the Telugu uh, industry and uh, yes, I've been in talk with uh, the director and the production since last year. So finally, uh, we'll be shooting uh, in the next two, three months or so. So here uh, at the Bengali Film Festival in Hyderabad, you are presenting the film Bijoy or Pori yeah. and that movie has in fact opened to rousing reception. You were in Dhaka, then you went to Kerala, you're in Hyderabad. Yeah. Uh, why did you take this risk of working with a first time director? Because something that I've read about you yeah. is though you love experimenting, but you were always worried about trying or experimenting with new directors. Uh, no, actually, uh, in more my career is this year it will be around 24 years and I have always uh, been very open to uh, you know work with first time directors and you know smaller production houses and uh, because I feel they have you know they have so much of energy and new new people also bring in new concepts and new ideas it's a struggle for them to get a good cast in place and uh, then this entire struggle with you know releasing the film getting a good distributor good haul good show timing uh, so i i feel as an actor it's uh, it's also kind of a responsibility to uh, be a part of uh, new films new ideas and uh, See, I feel everybody has a first day. I mean, I have also faced a lot of rejection in my life. Even when I started uh, trying out, um, trying my luck in uh, Bombay, I have, uh, in, I think in 2001 or 2021 or 22, I had given almost 12 auditions, none of which worked out for me. Okay. So, um, I think um, it's it's a it's a difficult space for for an actor to try out in you know new new places of work like Bombay was a new place for me, um, Hyderabad, the Telangana or you know the Tamil, Malayalam, Kannada industry they are new places for me, so it's also a struggle for me. So I do understand the struggle a new director goes through, and. Um, this year, actually, two of my films are here at the Telangana Bengali Film Festival. One is Bijar Pore, which you mentioned. The other one is Matri Pokho. Both are uh, directed by first-time directors. And uh, Matri Pokho is an independent film because we didn't have any producer as such. So we have all just pulled in our contacts and, you know, um, really worked uh, at very uh, less remuneration and, you know, less budget. 
but uh, the concepts were fantastic and the directors you know their their vision was accurate they knew what they wanted to make and uh, yeah they were so confident so i feel like it's important to give people a chance who are so focused and want to do something uh, good in the industry well so. uh, you mentioned about bollywood and yeah. i want to talk about you know bomkesh bokshi did do you think that that film sort of opened doors for you or was it kala which is ott uh, uh bomkesh was my first film in bombay in hindi language but i feel uh, people actually i think woke up to my existence after patal lok which released in 2020 on amazon yeah i mean and i was constantly you know the feedback was where were you all this time so i said i have been working for 20 years in the bengali film industry but that is what happens that you know when the language changes from a regional language to a more national language so hindi the audience is huge it also opens up doors because it's a language which more people you know more people see and watch and know so uh, yeah so patal lok uh, i feel kind of um, made the difference you know for me to uh, start a career in another language after almost 20 years does the medium also matter do you think ott has opened up more doors because you are an established star yes. as far as bengali film yes. industry is concerned yes. but uh, you know the 24 uh, uh, 24 years struggle yeah. that you've had and you've said that you mm. faced a lot of rejections do you think ott has bridged that gap and sort of given due recognition to actors at your par i feel uh, ott has opened up uh, opportunities a uh, scope for uh, regional actors mm. and i would uh, say not only actors i think it has opened up uh, huge opportunities for uh, people in the entertainment industry whether they are directors you know or filmmakers uh, production houses script writers because so much of content is required we have so many ott channels now and uh, people who were really struggling to make a mark in the film space or you know in the in the cinema space i think um, we are all getting uh, chances getting more chances to showcase our talent and um, so many so many actors are required now because of ott that uh, you know we have actors coming from kashmir from um, gujarat from punjab i don't know if we were only sticking to making films it would have been possible for actors from all over the country mm. you know to merge and become a bigger bigger industry because now this confluence is happening you know uh, we see so many actors from the southern part of the country also working in films uh, in in hindi films like i have been following uh, the work of vijay setupati for the last i think 10 15 years but it's just very recent now because of ott that the entire nation has kind of uh, woken yeah woken up and they are going gaga over his performance and uh, yeah so we who belong to the regional film film industry we are also getting a better you know chance at um, performing and see i feel that uh, bengal is a very comfortable space for me i have already acquired a lot of name popularity fame my you know i'm done over there and i'm kind of bored also because you work in the same medium for 23 24 years it, the question comes that what else can i do because i've experimented so much with the kind of content i i worked in my looks my hair i've gone bald i've done you know i've put on weight i've lost weight i've done everything possible so but if i kept working in the bengali film industry i would always end up doing characters that are bengali you know but if when kala happened to me i was getting the chance to play a himachali you know when um, uh, when some when criminal justice happened i was playing somebody who is a ahuja mm. so you also get to um, get to play different women from different strata of the society who speak different language who belong to different uh, you know states that that is a huge scope and um, and yeah i mean i think um, if i really want to grow as an actor and i'm always looking for newer things to do uh, and yeah bombay is um, has opened its doors now 
and uh, thanks to ott that you know it's 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 a possibility and i am this telugu work that i'll be doing this year it's a web series mm. so i do i don't think if if it was just films then uh, an actor from bengal would have you know got a scope mm. also you see jishu sen gupta who is such a big star in bengal who is doing so much of work in the telugu film industry now like we keep pulling his leg that are you shifting there because he's doing less of bengali work Uh, so yeah, I mean, OTT has uh, it's it's a blessing to many of us. But that's the point, you know, because here uh, Chiranjeevi Garu told us once that uh, it was only films like Pushpa, Triple R, which did the heavy weight lifting when mm. Bollywood wasn't at its best. Yeah. And that also sort of uh, was instrumental in breaking this. superior big body mm. or big brother image mm. that bollywood mm. enjoyed mm. Uh, where do you weigh in on this debate so there of the view that it's not just south cinema bengali cinema we are all part of this the conglomerate indian, called yeah. the indian, indian cinema industry, so do yeah. you think the bollywood's big brother tendency has sort of waned away or do you think um, that still persists especially for actors versatile actors such as you mm. who you've been open about mm. your struggles there yeah. as well See, I I feel the struggle is still there. Maybe it's not. Um, uh, I feel you know bo- Bollywood is more receptive to uh, getting or having a star from the southern states mm. uh, because um, the audience is huge even for them. I mean, I have watched uh, Pushpa twice, and I'm like waiting for the Pushpa two to come. Okay. So uh, I feel. Um, now the concept is changing that you know people also have started uh, writing about me as an indian film actor rather than you know a bengali film actor or uh, somebody as a assamese film actor or a oriya film actor so yeah that the bridge is kind of uh, closing narrowing. in or narrowing but i still feel that bollywood is more receptive towards star from the southern part of the country or you know a punjabi star would uh have more value in in the bollywood space than a star coming from bengal or a star coming from orissa or you know a star coming from the eastern part of the part of the world part of the country but uh, yeah i feel um people are watching our work so it's also important you know the audience watching our work is important but it's also important that the people in the trade get to watch our work because the audience is not going to give me opportunities it's the people in the business in the industry in the trade who is going to you know uh, give me the opportunities so uh, yeah i think um, we are still struggling but um, we'll reach somewhere soon but it's definitely better than what it yes yes of course i mean uh, say 2015 16 and now there is so much of difference mm-hmm. like we would not expect uh, you know a film to have shahrukh khan and vijay setupati 10 years back so that is happening now and uh, a lot big stars are also kind of ready to work in the web series space it's not that i will only do films we see so many big actors now who are who are doing web shows previously it was like no i don't want to do ott i will just stick to films and you know cinema and everything larger than life but now even big stars and actors are are you know uh, i would say merging you know with this trend of being a part of the ott space as well so we've seen you as an actor trying out everything versatility is your biggest usp among many other things but do you just want to confine yourself as an actor or do you want to you know go into production or director or you know different horizons any no, such ambition i just yeah different horizons in the space of acting, acting. <laughs> <laughs> because i feel i i am strongest in front of the camera and uh, i still have to learn a lot about the technicalities mm-hmm. i still kind of ask 10 questions to the dop as in what frame the left and right of the camera you know the all the technical part of it i'm still learning but i feel my my i'm the strongest in front of the camera and for me after so many years it's like you give me any role i will make it 100% believable and i will make the performance work i mean that is something i'm super confident about so i just want to you know kind of explore uh, 
the 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 world of acting and there's so much more to do and so many more characters to play and i'm extremely hungry as an actor and you know that's why i have also kind of um, done characters who were in their 60s when i was in my 30s like i was like 32 or 33 i've played characters who were in their mid 60s so i have I mean, it doesn't matter whether it's a mother or a aunt or a grandmother or a college girl, whatever it is. I'm always like kind of kicked that uh, I'm going to, you know, work hard and uh, do my best and make it a memorable journey for myself as well as the audience. So as far as I think Bengali films are concerned, my audience has never seen me in the same avatar in two films. Right. I have changed like everything. My being. Um, Uh, you know according to the films and the characters so because i feel that you know if i'm working for 24 years and i want my audience to um look forward to my work i also need to change myself i mean if they are seeing the same me in every character in every film they would also get bored and so would i hmm. so um, yeah i still have so many many characters to play and um, i am a huge fan of uh, vijay sethupathi like i actually follow him like uh, <laughs> i can be a stalker <laughs> and i am a huge fan of uh, fahad fasil i i watch their uh, films their shows i've kind of watched i think everything that they have done so i also have this aspiration to work with them and share screen space with them so i completely want to focus uh, on acting really look forward to that but do you have a switch on switch off see, uh, uh, switch because you know you try different characters yes. uh, even personally uh, you're very vocal about everything yeah. uh, you sort of li you live life on your own terms yeah. that's your uh, mm -hmm. that's what one would say to describe you but do you have a switch on switch off scene uh, switch uh, how does it take the transition from your shooting life to your personal life see i feel um, my daughter is grown up so you know she just finished her masters uh, she's staying in uk so my parents have all passed away so there is a lot of time in hand so um, but i do feel that there are certain films and characters which uh, stay with me for a considerable amount of time in a heavy way or in a lighter way and i feel as actors Uh, I'm a very intuitive actor. Like I, I can't do a lot of preparation and workshop. You know, I'm not a workshop kind of a person. I do not know what I am. I'll end up doing in front of the camera. I'm, I am an actor like that. So I feel we, all, I give a lot of myself into the character, and also few things from the character also, you know, gets deposited in me. Uh, say a film like Kala. Hmm. it really uh, stayed with me for a longer time because it was a very difficult film to pull off it was very hard it was very dark it was very intense and um, i i felt miserable for days even after the shooting had ended because i kept thinking that okay now her daughter is dead and she has nobody to fall back on what is that woman doing in her life i mean what happened to her i mean every film finishes at one point so these thoughts we, are while shooting or after no i i think it it happens after everything is over and you know you've lived that life and it has ended and you're reading more scripts and you're looking forward to you know the works that are coming up but a part of my mind you know is always there that we have finished the script and the film at one point but we don't know what is going on you know in the, in those in in those lives after the film is over like no director is writing scripts that okay we are finishing the film here but maybe you know this is what had happened to urmila or this is what had happened to you know some other woman so um, many a times in bengali films also it has happened that i have kind of called up a director with whom i have worked one year back and the film has released and it has done well and and it has come to ott and it's done with suddenly i've called him up and said that you know if we would have made a longer film what would you think has happened to that woman mm. because it kind of uh, irks me uh, because i i usually do very intense roles so i don't remember when was the last time i did something which was very light and you know happy and you know i'm wearing good clothes putting a lot of lip gloss and dancing and all of that so i feel the baggage stays with me at some uh, with some films yeah so it's also a struggle to stop thinking about them and moving on
Okay, last few questions, but this is really interesting for me also to learn. Where do you stand when there is a lot of controversy regarding films like Animal and films being used as uh, alleged political tools ahead mm -hmm. of elections? So, what are your thoughts on this? Um, I haven't watched Animal, mm -hmm. but my daughter watched the film. She had come for her holidays. And she said that, uh, Mom, I am not understanding why are people, you know, uh, hating the film or there is so much of negativity around it. Because uh, the last film, I think Kabir Singh, um, the, the woman had got a slap, That's you know. Right. But in Animal, the woman is also slapping back. So my daughter said that, you know, she's in this film, uh, the film is not showing a woman so vulnerable that you know she is on the receiving end of the abuse she is also retaliating she is also giving it back she is also taking a stand so that that difference is there compared to both the films directed by the same uh, director so my daughter said that she enjoyed the film and uh, because i've worked with tripti it was also kind of a personal Space for us, you know, to watch the film. So, um, because I really love her as a person, and I've spent so much of time. I, I really have that mother affection towards Tripti, and I know she has become a national crush now. Uh, her following has shot up the roof, and uh, people are going mad. And so many of my friends have asked me that, can we just do a video call with her, and you know, can I just <laughs> see her? But uh, but I feel that. Um, See, um, cinema, of course, uh, the visual medium is, of course, the strongest tool to communicate with uh, with people, with the audience. And we, I, I do feel that directors and actors, we all have kind, some kind of a social responsibility as to what we are signing up for. But at the end of the day, you know, as an artist, if I'm getting a role. Um, which is like a Ranbir Kapoor, as an artist, I would want to do that. I, I would want to perform such a character. So, yeah, backlashes would come. But see, on the other hand, I feel even the films which are being used as a political tool and they're, they're, they're releasing right before the election, but they're also becoming blockbusters. So people are going and watching the film, like millions of people are watching the film. So I do not know who are the ones screaming or you know and if if it was so that the society as a whole is taking a stand then these films would not have worked like these films would not have worked at the box office but they are they are working so people are going and watching the film see we are hypocrites we will we will watch the film and then we will just scream our lungs out as to how pathetic the film is just don't watch it i mean if you want to take a stand don't watch the film so I, I watch all kind of films and I want to, as an actor, I want to try all kind of characters. So till now, I have not been slammed yet for, you know, taking up a role. I don't know what the future holds, but uh, as an actor, I feel, uh, yeah, I mean, if it's an interesting role, I would, I would jump and take it. Before I let you go, my last question. Uh, Hyderabad biryani or Kolkata biryani? Oh God! Hey, Jhogra! Shara jibon dhore cholbe. Amar mona hoy. Ami aaj kyo shokale do tinte interview tami bolchilam. Je this is always the hottest topic, you know. Kolkata biryani better na Hyderabad biryani better. Amar definitely Kolkata biryani khete beshi bhalo bashi. Bhalo lagye beshi bhalo bashi. Aur ero mekta lorai hole I will take a stand for the Kolkata biryani. Karon Kolkata biryani te alu thake, which is the predominant, uh, you know, uh, most important factor that uh, Kolkata biryani te alu thake. Aaj je shob dukan e alu daye na biryani te, like we don't approve of those uh, restaurants. Kintu Hyderabad e jokhon ami ashi, amar khubi pochon pochon do hoy ekhan kar biryani, so my paradise theke o khechi prottek bar. Even I've packed, you know, the family pack that they give, which they say je. It's a chatte loke khabar, but actually 10 people can have. It, it is so, you know, it's such a huge packet. Yeah. So I remember the last time I was here, I had taken that packet back to Bombay. And I was here for 4 days. I mean, it's like, it's like a magic bag, which it just doesn't finish. It just doesn't like come, uh, you know, get lower. The, and it gets better with every yeah. passing day. I mean, it's like a bashi biryani tastes better than fresh biryani. Kine fijer ekhe dile, pored din shakal vela, ota beshi bhalo khete lage. 
so yeah i am a foodie i every month i'm like this month i'm just going to diet every day and you know i'm going to become very very thin but that doesn't happen and yeah yesterday i had like two bowls of curd rice because it was so good <laughs> it was so good so i had two bowls of curd rice and i've already asked about what is the lunch spread today but uh, yeah paradise has been uh, quite a favorite of mine over here one word to describe yourself just one word phenomenal <laughs> absolutely <laughs> on that note um, that was swastika mukherjee joining us on a really long chat uh, here at the bengali film festival in hyderabad so may films grow and may barriers be broken down on that note this is another swastika signing off for oh my god <laughs> see you in your name is swastika yeah. i can't <laughs> believe this oh my god <laughs> this is this is a kind of a happy uh, revelation that happened yeah. like, uh, this is swastika i was interviewing another swastika <laughs> great